In this video, we are going to discuss the Taylor series expansion for function of two variables. Let fxv be a function of two independent variables namely x, y defined in the region. The region which is occupied in the x, y plane. Let a b be any point in that region. Suppose the function has all its partial derivatives in a neighborhood of the point a b. Then the Taylor series expansion will be f x y is equals to f of a b plus x minus a into the first order partial derivative with respect to x at the point a b plus y negative b the first order partial derivative to the function f with respect to y at the point a b plus proceeding in this way for second and higher order terms. Here we have the tips and hints. Basically, the first order partial derivatives represents the slopes that is the rate of change in the x as well as the y direction at the point a b in the region. Second order partial derivatives generally describe the curvature how the function bends in a different directions of the region. We have the use the Taylor series which is very much useful for approximating the given function near the point a b when higher order derivatives are known that is very important use of Taylor series expansion. The student will be able to understand that in practice you often truncate the series after the first or second order terms especially when seeking quick approximations that is at most important for uh, trunc truncation. Expand uh, a function in terms of x and y near the point 1 comma pi by 4 by using Taylor series. We know that the Taylor series expansion here the point uh, a b is 1 comma pi by 4 the function f x y is e power x cos y. First you can substitute a with 1 and b with uh, pi by 4 in the formula. We have obtained the resultant expansion for the considered problem. You need to write uh, f x y and correspondingly you can estimate the function value at the point 1 comma pi by 4 it is e by root 2 dou f by dou x the first order partial derivative to f with respect to x e power x cos y and at the point 1 comma pi by 4 it is again e by root 2. Similarly dou f by dou y at the point 1 comma pi by, pi by 4 it is also negative e by root 2. So proceeding in this way for second order partial derivatives you will measure the second order partial derivatives at the point 1 comma pi by 4. Uh, we will get these results and uh, substitute these values in the revised expansion. After substitution, we have obtained that the Taylor series expansion to the function e power x cos y as uh, e by root 2 plus uh, x negative 1 into e by root 2 plus y negative 2 pi by 4 times negative e by root 2 plus uh, proceeding in this way for uh, second order terms presented in the expansion and so on. Now you can see another uh, problem show that e times 1 plus x negative 1 plus y negative 1 plus second order derivative second order terms and uh, so on is the Taylor series expansion to the function e power x y at the point 1 1. It is a function of two variables namely x and y the point here is a b we know that the Taylor series expansion about the point a b basically uh, we have to write the function as e power x y and the point a b is 1 1 you need to find f of 1 1 the first order partial derivative at the point 1 1 the first order partial derivative with respect to y at the point 1 1 the second order partial derivatives with respect to x twice at the point 1 1 the first order, uh, second order partial derivative to the function with respect to y twice at the point 1 1 and mixed partial derivative for second order at the point 1 1 and substitute these values into the revised formula we will get e power x y as e times 1 plus x negative 1 plus y negative 1 plus x negative 1 whole square by 2 factorial plus and so on which is the required Taylor series expansion to the function e power x y about the point 1 comma 1. 
Now you can see expand a polynomial function in terms of x and y in the powers of x negative 1 and y plus 2 by using Taylor series approximation. Basically, it is a function of two variables. We need to expand this function as a Taylor series in terms of x negative 1 and y plus 2. x and y are variables, 1 and minus 2 are the points so, hey, where a is 1 and b is negative 2. We know that the Taylor series expansion about the point a b present it and you can write the function in terms of x and y and you need to present the points a as 1 and b is minus 2. Now it is time to calculate the function value at the point 1 negative 2 as negative 10. The first order partial derivative to the function with respect to x at the point 1 negative 2 is negative 4. The first order partial derivative to the function f with respect to y at the point 1 negative 2 is 4. The second order partial derivatives at the point 1 negative 2 as negative 2, 4, 0 and 4. Substitute these values into the revised Taylor series expansion. Therefore, the third degree polynomial in terms of x and y as negative 10, negative 4 times x negative 1 plus 4 times y plus 2 negative 2. Uh, two times of second order terms presented in the series itself. This is the process to expand a function of two variables about any point a b by using Taylor series theorem.